Hello, welcome to another tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be designing this angle guide so to start, start a new part file and I will change my units to metric okay so now to start um, designing this part um, what we have to do is click on the top plane and sketch and um, draw a corner rectangle something like that then click this line and holding down the control key click your origin point and add a midpoint relation to it good so once you have that um, add your dimension the length here is going to be 100 and the length here is going to be 66 Good. and once you're done go to feature extrude and we want to extrude it down and the distance is going to be 18 and that's given right here and click OK good so now click this face uh, sketch number 2 uh, draw a circle and click the center point of that circle and this origin point holding down the control key select both points and add a vertical relation and draw a line from this edge out and draw a line from this edge out something like that and click this circle and this line add a tangent relation click the circle and this line and add a tangent relation then trim so I'm using trim to closest trim that excess part off and what we can do now is start adding our dimension um, the dimension from the top to the center line is 34 um, the radius for this circle is 22 so we can add one more circle in here for that and it has a limit tolerance so when we add our dimension as long as you put a number between 19.05 and 18.99 that is what this means it can be higher than the smallest and the highest number so what I always do is just add both together and divide it by 2 so I'll add that to 18.99 close parenthesis divided by 2 so that gives me 19.02 and I'm just going to close off my sketch up here and we have a fully defined sketch go to feature extrude you want to extrude it in the opposite direction and the distance is going to be 13 and click OK good so the next thing we can do is do cut this feature so we click on this space uh, sketch uh, number two again I just draw a corner rectangle yeah something like that uh, the dimension from here to that edge is 35 uh, the dimension from the top so this line is 7 and you just go to your feature um, extrude cut and you selected that feature and you want to select it up to next and click OK okay so the next thing on the top face um, sketch number 2 and we are going to just draw four circles um, select the center point of this circle make it horizontal select the center point of these two circles make it vertical um, select the center point of these two circles make it horizontal um, no. I'll go back let me unselect so yeah make this two horizontal these two vertical 
select the center point of these two circles and make it horizontal and select the center point of two circles and make it vertical so also select all four circles and make it equal to each other then I can add my dimension to 1 which I'll do the same thing which is 12.70 plus 12.62 divided by 2 so now we can start adding our dimensions to it um, it's 28 uh, the center line so we pretty much know this is center uh, this two this circles are center is they are symmetric by this and the center of this part so we can just use our dimension to add it uh, we know from here to here is 14 and from here uh, and from here to here is 28 and what else we need 33 so this from the center point of this two is 33 and from the back uh, from the back edge to that center line center point is 51 so everything is fully defined so you have 14 28 51 33 and all we're just going to do is go to feature extrude cut and we're going to extrude, extrude cut up to next so you should have something like that and click ok so it looks something like that and the next thing we're going to do is cut this part so we can how we can do that is select the right plane and if you have the right plane make sure your right plane is centered around this um, this part so select your right plane and sketch number two so I'm just going to draw a line coming down something like that the the angle for this line is going to be 25 which is right here and what else do we know about this line we know that the distance from the top of this line to the radius because it's telling you the radius is 13 so that means distance from here to here is going to be 13 so our line is fully defined so you have your 13 25 and what we can do now is exit the sketch so we add that and again go in your sketch sketch on this face number two just draw a circle from that origin point coming down and click this circle you can kind of like rotate your screen over here and holding down the control key when you hover over that point make sure this sketch is showing so when you hover over that point you see that end point click that point and make it coincident with each other so our sketch is fully defined and if we um, just check the dimension is 26 which is half of that is 13 so everything is right and so all we need to do now is exit our sketch um, then go to your feature uh, sweep cuts which is right here sweep cut um, the first part we select is our profile this is our profile the next one is our part which is this line and you can see and click OK and there you go now we have cut that part in and the next thing we need to do is just add our fillet and we are done so click on fillet and and change the fillet size to six and you want to add it to this end and we want to add it to that end and click ok and fillet again 
and the fillet size is 5 and we want to add that to this end and click OK and there you go there we have this part I believe we have everything covered and we are done um, thank you very much and if you have a question please feel free to leave a comment um, subscribe like or you can email me to if you have any more question or any more problems like this you want me to make a video on thank you and I'll see you in the next tutorial bye